So I'm talk about uh, now the study we published recently in Science uh, about uh, anxiety-like behavior in crayfish controlled by uh, uh, serotonin. So in this study, we uh, we study uh, the consequence, the behavior consequences of a stress in uh, in an invertebrate, uh, and uh, mainly uh, the cons behavioral uh, exploratory behavior consequences of stress in uh, in crayfish. So uh, we uh, first developed uh, a, a maze to measure the exploratory behavior of crayfish, and similar to what is uh, um, done in, in rodents, for example, we were rodents, for example, we uh, we develop a plus maze, a plus shaped maze, uh, divided in uh, two different parts, uh, with two uh, arm illuminated and two dark arms, and uh, uh, in order to put the crayfish. Uh, uh, facing a choice between uh, en entering or not uh, potential potentially aversive arm so when when we put crayfish in this uh, in this maze crayfish uh, and stressed crayfish or isolated crayfish gonna spontaneously uh, explore the entire maze uh, uh, with a slight preference for dark arms and uh, uh, so w we know that crayfish are, are animal uh, living in more dark uh, area than illuminated, but we know that they are able also to, to reach a light uh, area to, for example, go to another tank or another swamp, for example. And uh, after we decided to, to, to uh, artificially develop a stress in crayfish by means of uh, electrical um, uh, stimulation, and uh, w when we generate an electric field in a specific tank, we are able to generate an aversive uh, reaction of the crayfish um, by means of tail flip. And uh, if we repeat this uh, stressful situation, we are able to trigger, to elicit the, the stress response, physiological stress response of the crayfish, uh, and uh, leading to an increase in glucose level in hemolympha. And after we put the crayfish, the stressed crayfish, in our maze, and we showed that uh, the crayfish behavior was completely changed, uh, and they never explore the light area, uh, rest they restrict their respiratory behavior only to dark arms. Uh, so it means that uh, crayfish is able to adapt its behavior due to past experiences, and in this example, past stressful experiences. The next step was to study the molecular pathway of this uh, behavior, and uh, we show that uh, this uh, behavior is triggered by serotonin and is completely abolished by uh, GABA modulators such as benzodiazepine. So this work uh, uh, is, has an important result of, of this work is that we are able to generate some kind of uh, apprehension state in crayfish which are completely related to some anxiety, acute anxiety uh, behavior in, in rodents. And that this behavior is supported by the same molecular pathway, I mean serotonin and, and, for, and GABA. And uh, this... Uh, uh, give us a new model for the study of uh, stress and anxiety and also reveal that uh, emotional states uh, that m uh, were considered to be restricted to mammals are uh, uh, also present in, in invertebrates. So uh, I would like to finish by uh, thanks the, the member of the team uh, work who participated to, to the work, and mainly Daniel Cartert and uh, Jean-Paul Delbecq, but also uh, Julien Baquet-Cazenave and Philippe de Deverder. And uh, thank you very much for your attention.